Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we'll create an educational message to share in honor of Martin Luther King Day. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. With Martin Luther King Jr. Day coming up, I thought it would be fun to create a whiteboard video with a few facts about him to share on social media. So let me share with you my script. I have already recorded the voiceover for this, and I'll bring that in in a couple minutes here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just talk about just a few things that people might not know about him. And then we'll end it, you know, with a inspirational message at the end. I wanna use some images like this, where he's speaking in front of a crowd. And where did I get these images? Well, if you go over to a site like FreePick, you can find all kinds of images that you can use. Same with pixabay.com. So let's go ahead and type in. And again, we have plenty to choose from. Here's the one that I have. Now I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna show you a fun technique. If you notice here, let's go ahead and hit preview. I have the hand scribbling. It's kind of hard to see, let me try it again. I have the hand scribbling on the man and then the people fade in, okay? And that's how we're gonna start. I'm not gonna scribble, we're gonna actually hand draw him. But I didn't want to have to do drawing lines for all of these people. It would take forever to do that. And they're not really important. He's our subject. So let's go ahead and go over how this, how this happens. So I have two images the man that we're going to do our drawing paths for, and then the completed image. And that one's going to fade on. So let's go ahead and start with the man. So I'm going to highlight this, click the pencil icon. And now we just want to do drawing paths for him. So I'm going to start with his face. I'm going to zoom in and we'll just do this. Now, I'm not going to be terribly precise on this. This is going to go really fast. So I'm just going to make these kind of fatter lines. Okay, so I have my outline done for this. So I'm going to hit save and return. And then this one, the larger one, we want to make sure that it's set to fade, which I already did, but this is how you do it. You click the pencil icon and under reveal mode, it's by default, it's on draw where it's just a scribble. Well, we're turning it to fade. I want to make sure that these are lined up perfectly, so click the little gear icon and X is 1, Y is 5 on this one. So I want to make sure that's the same on this one. So this one, I was close on my placement. Let's change it. Okay, so now they're lined up perfectly. So now if we hit preview, the hand draws Martin Luther King and then the people just fade in. And then we go on, here's my script, and we'll just keep working. So that's a really cool effect that you can do. So how do you split these images up? Well, this was just a regular JPEG. So I have it over here in Pixelmator Pro. And all I did basically is I used my little um, selection tool, freehand selection. And I went through here and I just kind of outlined what I wanted. And then I inverted my selection. So I went up to edit, invert selection. So now everything else is selected. All these people are selected. And then I deleted it, okay? And then I just exported this guy. And that's what I used for the drawing paths. And then I, of course, had my original that I just stacked on top. Okay, so here's my script. This is what my voiceover is gonna be saying. I'm not going to go crazy trying to match everything up. I'm just going to put a series of maybe three or four images of Dr. Martin Luther King here. We're going to talk about him and then we're going to end it. So let's just go ahead and import some more graphics. Go to props, blue and white plus sign, and browse for your files. Okay. 
I'm just gonna bring them all in. This one will be nice for the first one, so I'm just gonna put that at the beginning. And we'll put some words. So go, go hit text and choose a font. Again, you could do the drawings for this, and I think this one would be really simple to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So click the pencil and start doing your drawing pads. Okay, so that one's done. And probably three seconds. This timing is probably fine on all of this. We'll go to scene settings, add a little bit of time at the end. And then let's bring in another image and another scene. So, like props, kind of liked this one. I thought we could bring in these hands. And again, add a little bit of time at the end of the scene. And then of course we're gonna end with Martin Luther King Day. So let's make this one be our last image. So one more scene. And this one I'm just gonna have fade on. It's a little busy to try and do all of the drawing paths for all that stuff. So this is just gonna be a simple fade and that'll look really nice. And then at the very end, let's end this scene with like 10 seconds at the end. And we can delete my little cheat sheet here. Let's bring in my voiceover. I said that I recorded it earlier, so all I have to do is go to sounds, blue plus sign, and browse for my file. Bring it down here to our voiceover track. And timing wise, okay, so I need to slow things down a little bit because you see my voiceover is longer than my video. So, go for a four second fade here. This one, a little longer. This can fade in a little slower as well. And then maybe do a delay before we say anything. Oh, and this needs to go, right? So, I'm just gonna delete it. If we wanna put one of his famous quotes here, that would be a nice touch. And that's a nice quote and it looks nice right there. We could add a little delay before that comes on. And let's go to our next scene. This I'd like to have fade on. I don't want it scribbling. So that's gonna be a fade. Again, it could be a low, uh, slow fade. We could have a delay before our hands come in. And these, I, if I had time, I would probably draw them, but I'm gonna go ahead and do fade. Then on this one, if you wanted to do, you know, some branding, add your logo on here so people know who made it or whatever, we could do that. That'll buy us some time too. So let's just do the logo. Okay, we'll pretend we're from Acme Office Supplies. And put a little delay there. And, you know, maybe we want to have this just be really faint. Turn the opacity down to 50%. And let's see, are we fading this on or drawing it on? I think fade. And then we just maybe make it kind of slow. So it's there, but it's just, it's not super prominent. And that's good timing wise. I like that just fine. And then if we wanted, we could add some background music. So go to sounds, categories, music. Let's do this one. So I'm just going to make sure I'm at the beginning and I'm going to put this in here. So, and I'm going to turn its volume down. So click that. I'm going down to like nine or ten percent ten percent should be fine and then we want it to fade out right here at the end we don't want the whole two minutes so we can just do this and then if you right click choose fade out and then let's stretch the duration of the fade so it just kind of does a nice slow fade right there and that's pretty much it. We have a educational video to share on social media in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is remembered today for his pivotal role in the U.S. Civil Rights Movement. As we celebrate his legacy, here are a few things you may not know about him. 
graduated from high school at the age of 15. By the time he was 26, he had earned a PhD. He became the leader of the Montgomery bus boycott and quickly rose to prominence in the civil rights movement. At age 35, Dr. King became the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winner. Today, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is remembered as a champion of peace and justice who helped to shape American history and advance human rights around the world. His wisdom and courage remain a source of inspiration for generations to come. Let us honor his legacy by striving to create a world where all people can live in dignity and peace. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Okay, I would probably make a couple little minor tweaks here and there, but overall I'm happy with this video. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching!